Hey y'all, I have had these two tumblers sitting around forever and I am ready to get them out of my craft room. So I went over to my vinyl and picked a couple of different vinyls that worked really well with these colors and some matching decals. This is usually what I do when I have a cup that I started or an extra, for instance, this one is from my Mother's Day boxes. I did lots of these tumblers because I made 50 of those boxes up and of course I had a couple extra for you know any mistakes that were made. So this one was made with Alter Ego on a white base from PDB Creative Studio. And then this is actually the tumbler that I started with my latest glitter pack with PDB. This is Monarch, Honeysuckle, Wildflower, Junebug, and Juniper. After we talk about this, I will stop for a second and show you how I painted the base and the ombre just to incorporate that into the tutorial. Um, but mainly, I just want to show you how I fix up some cups that I had an idea for and then kind of lost inspiration with it. I sat it to the side and I'm just coming back now and trying to put them together to get them out of here. <laughs> so for this one, of course, it's a pretty clean slate. You can use a transparent vinyl on it just whatever but because we're going for fall instead of a springy color now I'm going to use this and not those but this matches really good and we're going to do a v-split v-splits are the easiest thing for me to fix up a base that I really didn't know what I wanted to do with because you get a decal and a matching vinyl that matches your colors and you're good to go. And then for this one, we're gonna use this vinyl because it has all of the similar colors as this and this decal. So let's go ahead and do this tumbler. And then once I have this one finished, I will pause and show you the ombre process on this one. Now, like I said, I'm going to do V-splits. I know I do them a lot, but it's, it's a really good way to add a lot of detail to your tumbler and not be so difficult. So I'm going to mark this vinyl from top to bottom. I'm going to find that mark. All of these vinyls and decals are from Gracefully Created. And once we have it marked off that way, I'm gonna wrap it around this way and mark where those meet. Then we're gonna trim it again. gonna fold this in half but you don't want to crease the entire vinyl all you need is a little point at the top you're gonna go from that point to the edge of the vinyl so your center point to the top corner and I do save all of my scraps this would make a nice keychain this is gonna work for a pen and of course you can use this to do a half and half tumbler or even like a, a shorty tumbler that would fit. And then once again from our half mark in that corner. I have a couple little marks on this one from where it's just been sitting around. So I'm going to cover that up with my vinyl. Alright, so this is why I do voiceovers instead of real-time tutorials because obviously I did not flip that the right way. 
we're gonna fix it and I know how to fix it with some striping. Okay, that's fine. This is fine. Everything's fine. So let's mark this once again. Oh my gosh. We're gonna go to the center point of this. I had this flip the other way whenever I trimmed it. Oh my gosh. There we go. All right. Back in the game. And I'll show you how to fix this up down here. Okay, so we're gonna cut off a little corner. Cover those spots back up again. And then you'll know it's straight because you're lining it up right down here at the bottom. Gonna get that even all the way around. Down here around the bottom where you can see that it's kind of pulled away, I'm going to use my heat gun so it can almost like shrink wrap it around the curve and it will stay there. So after we epoxy and sand, we're not going to sand off any of our pattern. decal which I'm going to trim the edges off from where I touched it earlier I was actually just going to throw these together off camera but I thought I'm sure lots of you have these blank tumblers sitting around and this might help you out a little bit getting them finished up now, I usually don't do this, but I do want to find the center point of this one as well. So, this is a perfect triangle. So, where it comes to a point, I'm just going to hold that up to my light and get those two points together and then mark the center point here. And then I'm going to mark it here as well. Just going to do that. putting this at the point. Wrapping that around. And we'll go from our mark to this edge. And here is our center point. I'll get a I had an erasable pen in here. But it has ran away. It's fine. We'll wipe this off with alcohol. You just want to mark that center point. take our decal and add that on.
So for our pinstriping, we're gonna use, I believe this is the rose gold or copper from Tech Wrap Craft. I have a couple thicker ones cut and then we'll use a couple thinner ones as well. And get these pulled up. Do that all in one motion. Now we're gonna kind of pull this together right here using a couple thinner ones. trim these first. So for this, I'm gonna make a point right here, straight in the middle of these two. Overlap right in the middle. This copper vinyl, or I don't know if it's copper or if it's the rose gold, but it looks really good with this. Bottle. And we're going to cut this to a point right down the middle. made that gap look nice. And that one's ready for epoxy. All right, so for this one, I'll go ahead and insert the painting and ombre, and then we'll come right back and add on our vinyl to this one.
Okay, so we're gonna try a V split once again, but get it right this time. And since this is a pattern that I don't really wanna cut off, I'm gonna make this my center point. We're gonna cut off the extra on either side of this. So this is gonna be a little more challenging for this cup. So we're gonna go ahead and trim it this way first. Maybe I won't mess it up this time. So to do this, I'm going to pull this down just a tad so I can see the center point of both of these. I'm going to go right down in the middle and make a mark. We're going to cut off the excess on this side and on that side so it's even. Not mess this one up this time, shall we? Cut from that center point to the corner. Center point to corner. thought I cut it upside down there for a second. This final just does not realize I'm not in the mood for this today. All right, we'll fix that too. This is why it's nice to always have a vinyl trimmer on hand. Flatten out all that vinyl around the edge. And I have it on the lowest.
to me. Sheesh. Finally. Okay. Bubble in this one too. <sighs> okay. Decal time. I'm gonna make a center of this B. It's not straight. I'm trying to figure out the, if the B's crooked or the decal is crooked. Oh, I can't tell. Okay. So for these, I feel like we need kind of a matte color vinyl to tie this in together, maybe with some gold. Or how about this white? It's the Tech Wrap Shimmer White. That will look nice. We're just gonna manually cut our stripes. Just a hair th thicker than what we used on the other tumbler, just to kind of tone down that those bright colors, and then we'll do a couple smaller ones.
<sighs> None of this is wanting to work. There we go. There we go. I want it to go to a point here and here. And get it to line up right at the top. Is that straight? Yes. No. really thick so you have to put a lot of pressure okay. now for the smaller ones Both of these ready for epoxy. Just kidding. I think I want to add some gold to this. This is the Tech Wrap Craft Metallic Texture Gold, Gold Texture Metallic, however it's listed. Y'all know I use this on near everything. I just don't feel complete unless I use this vinyl. I can't help it.
think this will be long enough. It just ripped. See if this one's too thick. But we could do it like this. Nice. I like that better. Okay, now we're ready for epoxy. All right, I have 100 milliliters of a little extra ink epoxy mixed up. I'm working on lots of other cups trying to get them out of my space <laughs> so we're doing a lot at one time and of course I am wearing my respirator hopefully you can hear me okay you should always have your respirator on before you begin mixing your part A and your part B of your epoxy And here we have our beautiful ready to ship cups. I want to thank you all for commenting so many awesome names in our Facebook group. We did give away one of these tumblers because I had no clue what to name this tutorial. We had tons of awesome ideas, but Melissa Nay was our winner with Trash to Treasure. I hope y'all have enjoyed this tutorial and making over these cups with me. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below and I'll answer them as quickly as possible. All materials used will be listed in the description with some discount codes for you. Don't forget to give this tutorial a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. It really helps us out. That is all for today. Thank you all so much and we'll see you next time.